right, this video is about factoring higher degree polynomials. And basically, the techniques you're going to learn about factoring higher degree polynomials um, is this. You're going to learn how to factor the difference in the sum of two cubes using SOPs, factoring by grouping, recognizing and factoring polynomials in, quadri in quadratic form, and GCR factoring. All right. So first thing I need to mention is it says higher degree polynomials. Just understand this. The degree of a polynomial is the size exponent. So it gave you this polynomial to the fifth. The highest exponent in this polynomial is 5. It will actually highest exponent on the variable. So the highest exponent on this variable x is 5. So the degree of this polynomial is degree 5. So generally, our degree is always the highest exponent on the variable. However, there are other polynomials that exist. That that isn't necessarily isn't true, just for the record. That some polynomials look like this. x, y to the fifth plus 2x squared, y to the ninth. But you know, the polynomials look like this. And in this case, the degree isn't the highest exponent. Um, the degree would be the sum of the product of those um, variables, the exponent sum. So this variable times that variable, you add up exponents here so that's 11 there's 11 and this is a 1 and you have exponents here at 6 so this one has degree 11 because the sum of these exponents been multiplied together is 11 but we don't really look at those very often but if you ever did come across it and you need to know what the degree was yeah you add up the exponents of the variables been multiplied generally though it's just one variable and that variable well one variable by itself and the degree is the size exponent. All right, moving on. Our direction here say factor each polynomial. If you look at this, x cubed subtract 8 isn't a polynomial we factored before. We factor polynomials or quadratics. For example, if we give you x squared subtract 3x plus 4, you know how to factor that. You factored that before. You use x game, you'll find the factors x subtract 4, x plus 1. Meaning that the product of those two leads you to the trinomial x cubed, this part, this trinomial here. So x to the squared subtract 3x plus 4. So anyway, so we know that's what factoring is. But in this case, we've never factored one of these. This is a perfect cube. And 8 is also a perfect cube. It's 2 to the third power. So because of that, I recognize this one as a difference. Two cubes. All right, and we, the way we factor different than cube, two cubes, I'll explain to my students this process called SOPS. S-O-P-P-S. -P -P SOPS means square opposite product plus square. All right, so it's really nice to know, and it's really useful in factoring the difference of sum of two cubes. I'm about to erase some of this, so I'll pause the video. At some place on this page, I'll write down what SOPs and all the letters mean. Okay, once you write it down, unpause it, and the screen is going to be slightly different. All right, so this is how this works. In factoring this, you have a binomial and a trinomial. And the binomial is essentially going to be the cube root of the first term, cube root of the first term. Whatever that sign is comes here, and the cube root of the second term. First term is x to the third. The cube root of it is x. Subtract. Second term is 8. Cube root of 8 is 2. All right, so that's the binomial. The trinomial is this longer one. And we're going to use square opposite product plus square to decide what these numbers should be. So basically what it says is take the first number here, whatever that says, and square it, making the x squared. And then get the opposite sign. Whatever that sign says, do the opposite. So that says subtraction. I'm going to make it plus. Then it says product. So take these two numbers. Get the product of them. 2 and x is 2 times x. This sign says plus. So there's always a plus sign here. This means square. So whatever this number is, we square it. So 
2 squared is 4. And that's it. This is the factored version of x cubed subtract 8x. And I can prove it. If I fold those together, I should, it should lead me back to where I began. So just to check. If I fold together x subtract 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4, it should give me back this. Let's check it out. So x times x to the second is x to the third. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 4 is 4x. And then negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Combining like terms, leaves you x to the third. This cancels, that cancels, subtract 8. So it, the final answer for it is x to the third, subtract 8. And that's true, so it actually worked. It led me back to where I began. So I know this is a true statement, because when I fold it back together, I get back where I, what I began with. All right, so that's how SOPS works. So if you think you got it, pause the video and try letter B. So you, you can figure this one out. If you think you got it, go ahead and try it. If not, listen up. So everybody who's pausing it, go ahead and pause it down. So, first thing I'm going to come up with is my binomial and trinomial. The binomial should be the cube root of each of these numbers, so the cube root of x to the third, the cube root of 125 is a plus sign. The cube root of x to the third is x plus, the cube root of 125 is 5. Square, opposite, product, plus, square. So, I mean, you take this term and square it, so it's x to the second. Opposite sign, product is 5x, plus the square of the last number is 25. So this is what we should have came up with. As a factor version of x cubed plus 125. In this next one, it says x to the sixth. The cube root of x to the sixth, if you think about it, it's x squared. And you should know the cube root of 27. So this should be x squared subtract 3. And then when you square x squared, you get x to the fourth. Um, opposite sign, product, plus the square. So this is it. That's the factor version of that. I pause the video, cop the anything you didn't already know. I'm going to erase the screen, talk about another technique. All right, new example. So it's factor each of these polynomials. First thing you should notice is it's not a trinomial. There's four terms to it, and up until now, we wouldn't factor this because we wouldn't have no ways, we would have no ways of factoring it. Now this is where we're factoring it. The way we're going to factor this is factor by grouping. Whenever you see more than three terms, as in four terms, five terms, six terms, so forth, the first thing you should think to do is factor by grouping. If factoring by grouping, you essentially take the first pair and group them together. Take the second pair, group them together. Sometimes you might have to rearrange the numbers in order to, to factor it. In this case, I'm not going to bother. I'm leaving as they are. And I'm going to look for a GCF within this pair of factors. GCF between x cubed and x squared is x squared. The factor out of GCF essentially means divide each one of those terms by the GCF. So if I divide x to the third by x squared, I'll leave at least x to the first. And if I divide x squared by x squared, I'm left with 1. So if I check that out and I multiply it back together, x squared times x, that's giving me x to the third. x squared times positive 1, that's giving me x squared. So I factor it properly. Plus, and then I'm looking for the GCF here. GCF between both of those is 4. I factor out of 4. Well, I factor out of 4, I'm left with x plus 1. Now, the great thing about GCL fact, group, factor by grouping is this. What you want to find is a binomial and the exact same binomial on the other side. So whenever that happens, it factors to be this. Those two binomials become 1. And the numbers outside become their own binomial. And this is what it factors to be. The reason why that works is 
if I thought about this being a term, like if I said x plus 1 is equal to say u, I did a u substitution, this polynomial would say x squared times u plus 4 times u. Well, if you saw it this way, you could easily see that the GCF here is u. So if I factor out a u, in parentheses, you're left with x squared plus 4. Well, keep in mind, u is really being represented by x plus 1. So it's really x plus 1 times x squared plus 4, which is exactly what we had there. So this is the reason why those two terms, two binomials, become one. Because essentially you're like reverse distributing it. You're like you're factoring those two out of it to be there on the outside of a set of parentheses and the numbers here become their own set of parentheses. Well, that's how you factor by grouping. If you think you got it, pause the video, try the second one. Don't think you have it, follow along with me. All right, so if you tried it or not, here we are. I'm going to group together the first two, making the x cubed, subtract 2x squared. With subtraction here, it's really tricky. you got to be careful with that subtraction side. To subtract 3 means plus a negative 3. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this as plus, and then negative 3x plus 6. If you didn't do that and just drop the, subtract, drop the parentheses there before after the subtraction sign, it would completely change the signs. It would just ruin everything. So you do have to consider this as being plus a negative. So anyway, the GCF here is x squared, and that leaves you with x subtract 2 in parentheses. Do you see up here? I don't want to be, I don't want to leave this as negative. So I'm going to factor out a negative for sure. And 3 is in common. So I'm going to factor out a negative 3. Or you can think about plus and negative. I'm going to factor out a negative 3. So if I got a negative 3 from this one, I'm left with x. If I got a negative 3 from 6, I'm left with negative 2. Which is perfect because it gives me x track 2 and x track 2. So it gives you x track 2 and then x squared. Plus a negative 3, and we'll call that subtract 3. And that's it. If you form that back together, you will lead back to where we began. And that's how you factor by grouping. All right, one more talk. One more topic. Oh, I will pause this video and copy that anything that you didn't already know is a note, though. All right, factoring each of these polynomials, you should recognize this is one we factored before. I taught you to use the X game. On the top would be A times C, on the bottom is B. So it's 7 here and a negative 6 there. And you look for where multiplies be 7 and add to be negative 6. So I can think about that as negative 7 and 1. So my factors are x subtract 7, x plus 1. And this is what that would have factored to be, considering what you last learned previously earlier this year. Now, these are very different, but they're a lot alike in a lot of ways. Notice how this exponent is twice this exponent. That's a 2, and this is understood 1. And this exponent is twice that one. And this exponent is 1, which is twice a half. So all of these are in common because they are in quadratic form. Meaning that they factor just like quadratics. So basically, I'll use the x game. So it's going to be a negative 22 on top, 9 on the bottom. Think about both multiplies got to be negative 22, and that'd be 9. And you may come up with 11 and negative 2. So that means your factor should be, ordinarily be x subtract plus 11 but, and x subtract 2. Now, if you notice, if you fold this together, x times x gives you x squared, not x to the fourth. So to make it work, whatever the exponent was here, you take half of it, put it here. Now it works. If I fold this together, it leads me back here. So if I fold that, just check, this is the answer for it. But before together, x times x squared is x to the fourth. Subtract x times negative 2 is negative 2x squared. 11 times this is 11x squared. Subtract 22. Do the math, and you get x to the fourth um, plus 9x squared. Subtract 22, and it works. All right, I'm pretty much out of time, but this is going to factor the same way. It's going to be x and a 1 half, x and a 1 half. And you're going to need positive 4 and positive 8. And that's what the numbers are in order for it to work out. And what's all I have?